watch the original video, this property was a property that we picked up about 12 years ago as an investment property. We had the same tenant here for 12 years. The guy paid rent on time. It was a great tenant. The only thing is, we knew there was going to be some problems because he never called us for anything, even if there was a problem. So when we showed up after he moved out, this place was a complete shambles. And you're going to see some of the images and some, and then what you're going to see today is all the things that we did. I can't say this at a very high level. This property, at a, uh, we're in a complex of maybe around 80 units, and I can guarantee you this had to be the most filthiest, and it was just probably by far the worst unit that would have been in this complex. Today, it's probably one of the nicest and most pristine units. And I want to show you what we did specifically. So everything, starting from the floors. So uh, uh, Masood and Amara at Edmonton Hardwood Forum really helped us up. Uh, for our rental properties, we really like going with a, a vinyl floor rather than a laminate just in case you know there's ever water that gets to it, it doesn't damage it. So we went with a really nice neutral color because we're trying to think longevity both on the trend side from, uh, as well as also durability. Um, and we also wanted it to match with our kitchen cabinets, so we wanted something really neutral. Uh, so pretty much did all the flooring, uh, replaced the, the laminate and the carpet in the master bedroom. The other thing too, there was a lot of holes in the wall over time, the guy you know, putting up TVs, uh, I don't know what he did, but there was holes all over the place. So we had all the holes patched and uh, basically sanded and everything and, and ready for the painter to come in. So I want to thank John from John's Painting who did a great job, came in here in one day and pretty much painted the entire house, all the base sports trims and everything. So those are two major things that a lot of people are doing around the apartment, but we took it one step further. Everything from um, the original fridge, and you'll probably see some images, but it was absolutely disgusting. It stopped working. Um, we probably could have had it repaired. It was a $4,000 um, Levere integrated fridge, but instead of trying to even deal with it, well, we went out and we went out to Best Buy, and then we basically tried to find a fridge that would fit into this area. And then we had our trades actually modify the cabinet so it actually looks fully custom. Um, the door originally, when, we, when the fridge got delivered, it was originally dented. We had to send it back. Best Buy was great. We replaced it within a matter of days. Uh, and because uh, again, even though it's a rental, I didn't want to see a dent on the front on the front of the, on the front of the fridge because all you're telling the tenant is that it's not important. They can go dent it up more. So I'd rather get a pristine fridge in here. Um, the fridge used to open from the one side, we reversed it, so now it's opening properly to the one side. So a brand new fridge. Uh, the, our, uh, the cleaning people were really happy that they didn't have to deal with cleaning that fridge. They did clean everything. You know, the rest of the appliances were in pretty bad shape. Uh, talking about the appliances, um, on our cooktop, the first thing is to make sure the rest of the appliances were functional. Uh, the cooktop was an absolute disaster. I would have never cooked on this stove. Uh, and even though after cleaning it, there was still a lot of, on these ceramic glass tops, you get a lot of buildup. There's a great product you can buy from the entire, I think it's called Ceramic Bright. Um, but I'll put the, the description up below so you guys can look at it. But it just, the, the, it almost looks brand new. Uh, the microwave was in great shape, we had that all clean. So literally, the oven, which was absolutely disgusting, is, uh, looks really pristine as well. The one thing that I did not think we were going to be able to salvage, which would be really expensive, was the actual uh, sink. The sink is actually more integrated. Um, it's either Corian or it is um, a quartz. The nice thing about this product is that if you can't clean it, you can actually sand it. So take a look at this. Like, look at that sink. It doesn't even look like it's even possible that that's the same sink. You know, the fixtures that we had were always really nice fixtures, so those we were able to salvage and get cleaned up. Dishwashers and cupboards. So, literally, kitchen feels brand new. Like, all these cabinets on the inside, the amount of, uh, even look, looking on the bottom, the amount of grime that was on there, um, you would think we would have to replace all the cabinets, but it was really just some novel verse and getting it all clean. So, the kitchen's done. Floors are done. So let's go over to the, the washroom because this is something that was where we completely remodeled the washroom. So number one, we broke all the tiles over here. We carried that same vinyl floor in here, giving it a more harmonious feel as it comes in. The sink we ended up picking up from Home Depot. The other sink was actually pretty in good shape. The plumbing, there was something wrong with it because it wasn't draining. We could have fixed that, but you know what? Uh, for $350, we've got this really beautiful sink that came with the, the counter. We then picked up uh, black fixtures, which are pretty uh, common and trendy today. 
then the lighting we actually ended up picking up at Living Lighting off of Dundas near the 403. Those guys were great. They actually, instead of making this weight, they took this one right off the floor model for us. And that light was like 150 bucks, but it really dresses up this washer. Uh, rather than having your standard like you know uh, builder type light in here, uh, the mirror I just picked that up. I think it was at Lowe's or Winners for like sixty dollars. But uh, the toilet again, that was from Home Depot, uh, two hundred dollars on a brand new toilet. Uh, if you guys remember the last toilet, you, you didn't. It looked like you never flushed it, and there was probably a reason for it. It didn't work. You'd have to actually open up the tank, stick your hand down there, and pull in the chain. So literally between the flooring, the vanity, the toilet. Um, this completely changed everything. However, where we didn't want to spend crazy money was the bathtub could have probably been clean, but the tiles and all the grime that was on it, and then the color would not match our new theme. So what we ended up doing is um, we basically had um, a company come in, and we'll also put on the description in their names because they were amazing. And what they do is they actually spray an enamel on the original tile. Um, and even on the fixtures um, and, and on the bathroom. So now it looks like we have a brand new tub, shower, uh, surround. Um, and then the we did order black fixtures for here. They, they haven't come in yet. So once those come in, really, we have a completely new washroom. Uh, so when you're really looking at doing your renovation, what are the things that have the biggest significant change in rooms-wise is going to be your kitchen and your washroom, obviously flooring and paint. Remember the bedroom, guys? So this bedroom had carpet. We carried the same vinyl floor in here, obviously baseboard trims. These California shutters were absolutely disgusting. We pulled them off, washed them, uh, and then basically painted all the trim work and everything like that. So this place feels like a brand new unit. Uh, we even updated some of the light fixtures. So this is the one in the master bedroom. I want to show you these really cool lights that we also picked up at Home Depot. So if you look at these lights, uh, let me see. If when you turn it on, if you actually click and turn off, it actually turns out to a night light. Watch, there's another one. How cool is that? In this area here, this was also tile. It was all broken. We replaced that tile as well. It carried the same vinyl floor in. If you guys remember, there were no closet doors here. Uh, they were actually uh, in the garage. So this one bedroom unit actually does have its own garage. And what we did, um, I thought I had a garage door opener in this in this unit, but we didn't. So for 12 years, this guy was opening and closing the garage and never even asked for it. But we put a garage door opener in here. So now, and we had the garage all cleaned out. So it's a very practical garage because you're coming in directly into your unit. Just behind these doors here is a stackable washer and dryer. And that was actually a new washer and dryer we put in earlier this year before the tenant left. To summarize, basically, when we came in two weeks ago and literally walked into this, most people would have said, I'm done, don't ever give me another rental, I'm gonna sell all my rentals. However, at the end of that video, I said, you know what, give me 10 more broken toilets that are full of shit stains. Give me 10 more uh, fridges that are full of mold. Because at the end, if you look at the big picture, when I walked in here, that was two weeks ago, everything's been done, it's at a cost of approximately $10,000 is what it costs to do everything. Then you figure I probably spent maybe $2,000 earlier on in the year for a stackable washer and dryer. So all in, I'm in this place for about $12,000 during the whole time I've carried it. So that's what I've spent. Because I didn't spend anything earlier, I spent it all now. So that's $12,000 in 12 years. That works out to $1,000 a month. However, I bought this property for two eleven. dollars Today it's worth $500. The guy who was living here for 12 years paid $80,000 on my mortgage. So when you look at it, I made almost $400,000 over that 12 year period. And that's why I ended that video saying, hey, give me you know, 10 more fridges, 10 more toilets and I'll deal with it. So for a lot of you folks who watch a lot of our content and look at a lot of the high end luxury and, and modern builds, you're probably wondering like, why are we covering this? Well, a lot of those people that actually, you know, get to build that wealth are investing in investment property similar to this and as like we are. So that's why I wanted to share this with you and also put some perspective on, on some of the good and the bad. And uh, hopefully this helps and then until next time, take care.